Hello everybody, Sift here again, and today I'll be playing Backpack Battles. Guys, I found it, I found the next big game, at least in my opinion. The game is a combination with Backpack Hero and Super Auto Pets, or actually any Auto Butler to be precise, which means that we're gonna be building up a backpack, like in Backpack Hero, and then we will be fighting automatically with whatever the other person is gonna have. Now, this is not a live game, as I said, it's very similar to Super Auto Pets, so the build you create is gonna be fought by somebody else at some point in the future, so uh, that's is the game pretty much now we start with the ranger there are two characters here don't don't really uh, pay attention to the graphics that look like a flash game from you know when flash games were a thing but trust me the game is really well made at least in my opinion don't discard it because of the graphics it's a demo game so you can play right now and fight against the character i'm gonna do in this very run so another thing to be excited about and this we're gonna play a ranger today just the simpler version and then tomorrow maybe a mage if you guys enjoy it so what does the ranger start with we start with a wooden sword that does one to three damage 90 percent nitrous See and has a cooldown of 1.4 seconds while spending one stamina every time we attack. We have five stamina, as you can see down here. Um, and that's it pretty much. I'm going to read the very bottom in a moment. And then we got this thing, Lucky Clover, which just gives us one luck at the start of battle. And luck, more specifically, gives us accuracy. 5% accuracy per stack, so we don't miss. And then we also got a stone, which is a one-use item that does 1 to 3 damage. 70% accuracy, has a two-second cooldown, so that means it takes two seconds to fire. Can only be used once, as I said. And then on hit, removes three shield from your opponent alongside the 1 to 3 damage it does. And now there are also unique backpacks and then i'm done with explanation we're gonna start the run so the backpack we have right over here does nothing this one does nothing it's just a little bag but this backpack over here whatever item is inside of it gets five percent crit hit chance for each uh, stack of luck that we have so this is pretty much a luck backpack and um yeah let's actually go into a ranked game because why not i already played a bunch i have an understanding of what's going on and what combos exist we got a platinum rank already and let's see how this is go this is the shop everything here can be yours for money so these are my starting things things i have eight coins so we can start with whatever we want i think i'm gonna sacrifice the first fight by getting a leather bag and a thing so let me read out what exists first of all there are leather bags this is like a back here leveling up but here you can just straight up buy them from the shop so there's that i guess uh, then we got another wooden sword like the one we have then we got a pan that says two to three damage stamina cost two though but gets plus one damage for each food uh, connected you see that star icon that means that uh, when you are about to place this as you see it has stars around it so whatever is inside of that star area is gonna give that thing buffs we got a sh whenever you enter the shop you gain two coins this is really really good because coins maintain themselves from run to run so uh just getting a piggy bank means you permanently get more money throughout the whole lifetime of this because as i said money maintains itself so this is straight up you get two more coins Coins. and if you for example survive 10 rounds this alone is going to give you 20 coins and then we got banana which is uh, every five seconds heal you for five and regenerate one stamina every five seconds uh i think i think the safest option is to get these two i'm gonna lock this down because i don't need the leather bag right now i'm gonna buy a piggy bank right we're gonna fit this in here and then i'm also gonna buy a banana which has heals you for five and it generates one stamina every five seconds so we're gonna have a smidge of a healing not that it's good and then it also says if food it has the food buff which says it has 10 percent lower cooldown for each different food uh, each food of a different type that is inside the star zone i don't have any food whatsoever but it doesn't matter and it's run i'm gonna lock this down once again here this is reserved lock this down and these two are irrelevant right now so let's actually begin the fight and see how this is gonna go I'm excited about the first fight. So, uh, here we go. We start smiling. He has two swords and a garlic. So, that means we're gonna lose. Two swords alone is gonna already make us lose, but... Yeah, we're almost like gonna lose here, but it's okay. We still got the piggy bank money. We lose the first fight. We happened to fight against the person that was uh, no knowing what he was doing. We got another piggy bank. In my opinion, I should take this. And we also found a wooden buckler. As you see, we have 11 coins right now. So, uh, the wooden buckler says 20% uh, chance to give us 6 shield. So, uh, once again, I'm reading it from top to bottom. It gives you 6 shielding, 1 block, and 20% chance. And then it says on damage, chance to gain 6 block and remove 1 stamina from the opponent. Uh, blocking absorbs 1 damage for stack. So, I think we're gonna pick up this leather bag for 4. Okay, oh, by the way, there are also these things, just so I read them, so you guys learn the game throughout watching me. So, stones can be thrown repeatedly, infinite stone throwing, and then this here is uh, just a poison, deals one damage per stack every two seconds. So, this is a four-second cooldown item that inflicts a poison, and the poison is a permanent debuff that makes the opponent take one damage per every two seconds. Uh, so, yeah, that's it pretty much. I would say it's a 0 0.5 damage per second thing, and it's food, so it cooldowns faster with other food types. So, we're gonna take this. I'm gonna say we put this down here, because I know there are backpacks that have effects, and I would like to put the backpacks with effects around my main backpack so let's put this here boom 
Um, and I'm going to even say let's get the wooden buckler. So we have some defense. I think this island is going to also carry it for us. And I would say I'm going to YOLO a bit even more and throw away the banana because this sells for two and get in our piggy bank, which is most likely going to bring us into a loss. But I think going for money is the wrong run. And there might be a chance that we're going to somehow survive if this buckler rolls uh, lucky rolls. And if the opponent doesn't have good starting items. And we are against the poison build. This should definitely kill us. <laughs> We're going to guarantee to lose here. As poison does not interact with the wooden buckler. And we already have three stacks. So yeah, that's pretty much an easy loss right over here. But it's okay. We care about late game. As long as we have two lives, we're good. And right now I have three lives. But the main target is to have at least two lives while gaining money. And the shop also has sales. When things are on sale, you should buy them most of the time because it just reduces them to the price of what you can sell them for. For example, if I buy this banana, I can sell it back for two. Uh, or if I buy this thing, it can sell it back for two. So uh, I think I should take that, take those things. This costs two. As I said, let's buy this. And as you can see here, it sells back for two. This uh, is bought for one and it sells back for one. And this flying pan, honestly, is not really something to write home about. But it does more damage than the wooden sword. But still, I don't really have room in here. Uh, I don't think we're going to go food build anyway. I'm going to say let's reroll. Yeah, so maybe we find some room. Here we go. We found a fanny pack and items inside trigger 10% faster. And we found another piggy bank. I think we're going to buy these. And I also found a whetstone. Weapons gain plus one maximum damage if they are connected to the whetstone. So let's take this and put it here, I would say. And now if I put this like this, this sword gets 10% faster attack speed and also 5% critted chance for each uh, luck we have. So it's already better. I have a banana. I, I would say we get another one of those. I'm, I'm very eager to go full on piggy bank build. So let's go here. And I'm going to say let's put the banana inside instead of a stone as this is repeatable. And maybe, just maybe, we're going to survive. I'm going to keep these as they are. Uh, we can You can have as many things in the storage as you want. The game is very, very... Uh, good at removing all the trash elements of auto battlers, which, you know, inventory space and how many units you're going to have and all that trash things that all the auto battlers have. This game does not have that. You can just have an infinite storage, as many items as you want. The game is not restricting you, like, at all. You have as much time as you want to decide what you want to do. You can maintain your money. You don't need to forcefully spend it. Like, everything is always in the positive aspect of what it could have been. Uh, there are also combo pieces in this game in general. I'm not sure if I should try to go for a combo piece, Maybe I should. Let's throw away the luck for now and let's put this in here. And this, uh, yeah, there are combination effects. So if you get two whetstones, you can combine them with a wooden sword to get a better weapon. I'm not sure if we're going to win here, but I'm going for the long run, as I said. So maybe, just maybe. Uh, yeah, we're going to most likely lose here. This is almost the same build with us, but instead of having a shield and a banana, they have two poison mushrooms. Uh, so, and also they start with one spike, this thing here, that means we take more damage from reflecting. We should be losing because poison's gonna outscale our damage here. Uh, yep, we're done. But it's okay, now we have two lives. If I lose two lives, now we're done. But it doesn't matter because we just invested everything into getting to this point where we are right now. So I'm gonna say we got a stamina stack. This is a sack. Anything that looks like a sack or bag is a bag. And this gives you three more spots. I'm thinking about putting it here, and then if I get a four spotter, I put it there. So I think this is gonna go here. We're gonna keep the piggy banks anyway, so might as well throw a piggy bank in there. Let's get this for free. Boom. And uh, I'm gonna say let's uh, rotate. What is this? Items gain 5% credit chance for each stack of luck we have. An epic accessory. Don't want this. I don't think so. Let's roll. We need one more bag, I would say. If not, we also need one more weapon, I would say. But we need to... Oh, here we go. Increase the rarity of items that you find in the shop and the rarity refreshes. We found this for two and we can sell it for two. So I would say we buy this and then we also get this. So we have more room. Uh, two coins. I guess I could go for uh, this thing, garlic. Every six seconds, gain five block and restore and remove one vampirism from your opponent. Vampirism heals them by one for each stack when they attack. And otherwise, it also gives us block. I think I should take this and I should just put a bunch of things in my bag. So let's buy this. So we have some more healing. Now, these two uh, cool down each other because uh, they say both of their foods have the effect of 10% lower cooldown. And yeah, by the way, this I read what this does, right? Increase the rarity of items in the shop every time we refresh. And now let's put just a bunch of items in here. So we have uh, two times more luck. That's like 10% hit chance. And we still have very, very, very low damage. But at this point, I am a bit more defensive. And we should be able to survive a bit more while also making money out of this. And we should be beating this build. Because we are literally the same build. Literally the same build. We both have garlic. We both have banana. We both have sword. We both have shield. The only difference is that I have the whetstone. And I also have two luck. And I also threw a stone at the beginning. So, theoretically, 
we are better, right? Theoretically, we should be just straight up a more powerful version of what the opponent is. If we lose, it's because we're unlucky, okay? <laughs> Once again, we have two more luck than him, and we also have more damage through the whetstone, so only luck would make us lose. And we win our first fight, and from here on out, obviously, the plan is never lose again. We found in our fanny pack, we're gonna put it back here. Uh, I'm not gonna stick to the swords, by the way. Just putting the fanny bags in here so that we line up another weapon. We're also going to get this bag so we have even more room. I would say one bag here and one bag here. Yeah, slowly building it up. Otherwise, I can put it here too. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to put it here though. Uh, I think putting it here and then the next one here is the play. So let's put one here. And I'm even uh, eager to say that I should go for another wooden sword. So we have some damage. Or just reroll to find a better weapon, I would say. Oh, we found this cheap, nice... 5 to 9 damage. Okay, we got a better weapon. <laughs> so, first of all, this is Death Scythe. 5 to 9 damage instead of 1 to 3, by the way. Um, and uh, accuracy 90, cooldown 1.4, but stamina cost 2. This has stamina cost 1. It's huge, obviously. And I don't even think I can even fit it in here. I can fit it exactly here. This is the exact spot where it's going to get put down in. This costs 7. It says uh, items inflict double poison. This also sells for 7, so we can just buy this even though we're not a poison build. I would like to get the Walrus Tusk as that combines with the Wooden Buckler because combining is a thing in this game. Uh, what would I throw out though? I'm thinking about throwing out the Wooden Sword, right? This this sells for 2. Uh, I'm trying to fit the Walrus Tusk in. And uh, well, this is going to get bought anyway because it does more damage than my base weapon. So let, let's just buy this regardless and see how we're going to fit things in. Put this here. Okay, uh, now this obviously fits like this, and you guys can go out for a moment, you go here. I would like to get four gold, as I said, so I'm going to sell the sword. And I'm going to go as far as to say we sell the uh, sell the whetstone for one, and let's also stone, sell the stone. We're going to get the tusk, and this is very important because, as I said, there are combos, and these two combine right away, so we definitely want that going on. The, as I said, the build is not consistent right now. There is no consistency here, but I just believe in my luck and what we're going to get. So we're going to also lock this down so we can put it here. And if we survive this one, by the way, there is a potion. Let me read this. When your opponent regenerates health, inflict five poison and two to yourself uh, for three. This could combo with items, inflict double poison, inflicting 10 poison to the opponent and four to myself. So that's obviously good as an idea. Just increase our DPS a bit. I could sell two things. I could sell one region. I could sell one region. I could just lock this down, by the way. Yeah, let's lock that down. These two are both locked down. Most likely the things we're going to buy next round. Let's go and hope we're going to survive here because if we don't, then we die. <laughs> uh, this guy has a hammer, which is a stun item. Otherwise, he just has a sword. So this is a sword and hammer build while we are doing a scythe build. Uh, we are running out of stamina, but we should be able to get this. Okay, and we won. No yet? Okay, now we won. And we also have full life. Very nice. We got our second win here. And now these two are going to combine. Woo boom! That's a mechanic in this game, which I really love, by the way. Uh, spike shield. Block one. Every time you gain 10 block, gain... Uh, first of all, this is block one. Every time I gain 10 block in general, I gain one spike up to three times per round. On damage, gain one defense. So instead of having a 20% chance to get six defense, now I gain guaranteed one defense every time I get hit guaranteed all the time and we got a weapon that i think i would like to go for on hit remove three shield for each free slot in front of it so we could go for shield bursting um which means i could go something like this right i i do enjoy that as an idea if we go like with a spear build i think i should go for spear build and we also found our stamina stack i mean we have that reserved 16 coins uh do i want the pestilence flask if i'm gonna rotate over to the death scythe i could also go for hammer by the way damage 5 to 8 actually 75 chance 40 percent to stun cooldown 2 seconds stamina cost 3 so this is a 40 percent chance to stun 5 to 8 damage weapon but it costs a lot of stamina this did a lot of damage to the opponents but i think this is gonna be better this has a cooldown of 1.3 this has a cooldown of 1.4 this can get affected by two attack speeds 5 to 9 damage i want to try this let's go here boom I know this is a legendary and now this for example has five slots in front of it so this right now has let's read this on hit remove three shield for every free slot in front of it so that means this thing is gonna remove 15 shield every time it attacks and then it has also two times 10 percent attack speed boost so i do enjoy that as an idea uh i'm not sure if i need the poison anymore as an idea let's get this put it down there and i would say let's get the warlock tax for the spikes and maybe if i get our shield we can go even deeper into the spike idea if I find anybody with a poison or with a poison build, we're gonna just get deleted. 
Uh, there is no reason for me to reserve this anymore. I'm not gonna go a poison build, not death scythe. Let's uh, let's hope that this spear is gonna be enough. My energy usage is low. I think we should have this. Eh, it's a bit of a YOLO move, but let's YOLO away. YOLO! I can sell this whenever I want, by the way. There is no rush. Okay, this guy is more of a poison build. But uh, let's see how this is gonna go. Well, he definitely cannot defend against us. And also we have spikes while he has less spikes than us. Yeah, we should be winning here. And my shield is obviously better than his shield. Anybody who's attacking us often is good for us because we pretty much block one defense. So that removes one damage from anything. Here we go. We found a wooden buckler. Very nice. So on damage, chance to gain six. That does not matter to me. What matters to me is I'm going to combine it with the Warwars Tusk. And I also found a bow and arrow if I go for a luck build. Now is the idea to go for a luck build or not. Here is the good uh, choice. So this is a very slow attacking weapon, but it does 7 to 9 damage. Accuracy very low, but it doesn't matter because on hit I gain luck. And luck gives us accuracy. And not only does luck give us accuracy, but luck also gives us a uh, crit chance if it's inside this bag. So I'm thinking about putting this something like here. Um, what is this? This is a cross. So I would say I put it here and then I open up this at some point and put it here. And this becomes like an archery build. I would like to really do an archery build, not a thing about it. I am, I mean, I am the archer. So I want to buy this and just leave it be. And for now, we're going to buy this. So we go on the defense route. Does these two definitely combine? This makes this a bit weaker, but uh, we can definitely fix this by pushing these one to the left. Boom. And now this has three defense piercing, which is okay. Uh, I can still sell the scythe. This here is a potion that says when you have 20 shield, gain 8 shielding and convert 8 health to shielding. This is in general a good one. Gives you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of survivability. And honestly, I would like to get a lot, a lot, a lot of survivability because I am... Uh, I tried to create an archer build, which is a slow and steady run build. So I'm going to say we buy this just so we have it in the future. And then later I should start rerolling so we start building up our good old thing here. Does this spend energy? This does not spend energy. Ooh. Wait a minute, if this doesn't spend energy, then I should definitely put it inside the board right away. Uh, do I even have room for this? I mean, I have room for this right here, so I could do something like this. Like, uh, spend a coin or something like this. Which is gonna make it so we don't pierce defense anymore, but we do 7 to 9 damage every 4 seconds, and we also gain a luck out of this, and luck gives us crit chance, so this should increase our damage. I would like to maybe... Just maybe put a piggy bank in. No, I think we need to win the fight more than we need the piggy bank inside. I'm not sure about the stone and skin potion, but I think I should also take that. So I will do so, and let's go ahead and run. From sure out, we will try to just increase the size of the inventory. We're gonna lose this fight. This guy starts with a bunch of defense, and I just decided to not have defense piercing the moment that happened. And we just got through all the defense the opponent has. I'm still attacking with my luck. At this point, I have 4 luck. That means 20% crit chance and 20% more accuracy. So I should not be missing anymore. And uh, yeah, at this point, my luck is 6. So we should have even more crit chance. And we won. Very nice. Very nice. Here we go. We found the thing the previous character had. And we're going to take that guaranteed. So this is holy armor. You block. You start with 35 block right away. Why is this important? Because these two things say for every 10 block I gain, I gain spikes, right? So if I have this, I instantly start with 35 block and these two both instantly get older spikes, right? I instantly get six spikes by three from this and three from this because this says every time you get 10, 10 block, gain one uh, spike, right? So instantly get six spikes out of that. And then not only does it do that, but it also at start of battle gives us a regen and also cleanses one poison every three seconds. So I think we're going to throw this away and this away. And we're going to put this here is my idea. So it gives us the good block amount. And it also makes us regen a bit. Uh, yes, I still don't have room though. This is a room. Uh, time to sell the scythe. It's not going to get in the build again. So let's put a single room spot in here, I would say. I think this is a good spot as any, as good as any, I would say. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna go, you go up. Oh, by the way, this bag here, I forgot to mention, this bag has an effect that the start of battle gain three shield. That's it pretty much. So push these up. Pushing those up doesn't really help. I'm gonna say you go here. I need to reorganize, to be honest. I definitely want two spikes. I guess, uh, I guess people are now cringing how I'm gonna do this, but... Could also do just this, by the way, and just not get the region out of this. Yeah, that's also a choice. And put this here. And I'm also gonna say put the shield potion here because this is gonna give us even more shield. 
This, uh, when I get 20 shield, I gain 8 shield and also convert 8 health to shield. I think I don't have healing anymore. Yeah, this gives us regen, but I don't have enough to regen, actually. Uh, I'm gonna say we reroll here. By the way, this is also a spike thing. Gain 1 spike and heal for 3. And heal for 3 every 5 seconds. So this is a food thing again. I would say let's roll this for another money, but I don't think I need this. Uh, more healing herbs, not really. Ripsaw Blade. This counters a spike build, by the way. On hit, remove two spikes and two regen from the opponent. Uh, I think this is better than the spear, right? Spear is anti-defense. This is anti. Uh, this is anti-healing and anti-spikes. Yeah, I could go for this instead of the instead of the spear. Although I do enjoy the spear. I'm I'm just thinking what I should do. Uh, this costs ten. I could throw out the banana. Let's throw out the banana, to be honest. Yes, and let's also throw out the garlic. Okay, and now I would say let's also throw out... Did I just reroll without the customer cards equipped? I guess so. If I sell this for three, I can get the legendary weapon. So let's throw away the spear. Let's go with this legendary weapon, uh, which is... Uh, yeah, now we are going to start piercing spikes. Low energy usage is low. Nice. Uh, can I fit this piggy bank? Not really. I think we're going to go with as we are. And we're gonna hope for the best. I don't have any healing. Oh no, I do have healing. This gives us regen. So we're gonna slowly trickle heal the stone potion defense that we lose. So uh, yeah, let's go. I still have piggy banks in my bank. I definitely, definitely need to organize. Look at this guy. I look at unnamed. Remember this unnamed guy. He's gonna get so rich at some point. We're gonna obviously beat him right now because he borderline doesn't even have a build in comparison to us. Very nice. Very nice. And we found another bow and arrow and also found a trash protection purse. Uh, what is this? When your opponent's health is below 50%, deal 1 damage for every debuff stack on the opponent. Yes, I will. I want to get the bone arrow, to be honest. The real thing I want to get is the bone arrow. Maybe I should remove a spike shield. Uh, I have 16 coins. And that's really good. Okay, I'm gonna get this purse. I would say we put it here. Nice. Uh, let's not forget that I don't care about spaces anymore, because now I have just this weapon and that's it. I don't need to care about spaces. Uh, maybe remove this for a moment. And maybe even go as far as, say, remove one of these. These give us, at the start, one luck. This gives us a luck when it fires. So at the end of the day, you know, the, the when it fires version is gonna pay out faster. The thing is, we have issues with um, how to put things in. Let's take this and roll. Yeah, I need to put this here so I find better things. Uh, Thorn Whip for a... Okay, so this is the weapon of choice of this build, right? Thorn Whip. It says, start with battle, gain a spike, and then deal plus one damage per spike. And we start with seven spike. So this does not three with two seven. This does like six to uh, ten or even more. And this does five to seven. This has a cooldown of 1.7 to stamina cost. This has a cooldown of two seconds to stamina cost. But this does more damage in general. This is a very weird um, size, but I can fit it right in here. And it's also cheaper. Yeah, I think this is the play. I'm going to leave this be. I'm going to go over to a spikes build now. So let's uh, let's just take this, and we are a spikes build now. Very nice. Piggy bank here, piggy bank here, and uh, this 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 does not have room anymore. I want to get this purse, so I'm gonna sell this. We're gonna put this purse here. We're gonna slowly trickle this up. I would say at least that's that's how I'm thinking about this. Yeah, slowly trickle up the purses, and let's reroll so we maybe find a purse. Okay, we didn't find... Oh, we found a purse. First of all, we also found a ruby egg. Reflect one debuff. Hatches after two rounds on your backpack. This got nerfed. <laughs> From yesterday when I played this with my friend, you know, testing the game, this used to be reflect two debuffs, but I guess everybody was taking this. Uh, we're definitely gonna get this. Items gain 5% critted chance for each uh, stack of luck. This is literally my build. And um, yeah, and then we also got another purse. So I would say we throw out the shield potion, which might be good, but right now it doesn't really fit. And I'm gonna get the purse, I would say. And then we also lock that down. And we're gonna get the purse, go this up. So now this gives us two. Uh, by the way, I don't know why when this is lit up, they should change this. Dev, <laughs> you should make this light up when the things are not above it, right? Because this is start of battle, gain one a region for each empty slot. So it should light up when the slot is actually empty. That would make more sense, at least in my mind. Uh, this is not gonna be here. So I could do something like this. No, that, that's stupid. Regardless, this does not fit either. Uh, I would like to get this guaranteed, so I'm gonna say we sell the this. No, this is gonna be part of the build at some point. 
I guess I'm gonna sell the stud with region one. This goes for one. That's not gonna make the money. I can just sell the customer card. It's good to be lucky, but it's also good to just have good things. Let's go here, 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 and then you flip. And you go up, and uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Well, this definitely needs to be here. Or it could be here, for example, but it's the same thing. Giving luck to both this and this. Uh, I want the region out of this one, is what I'm thinking about. But I don't see how I can fit this all in. The main issue, obviously, being the shield. Which could maybe go here. And then also the other issue being that I don't have enough single room items. Is the other issue here. <laughs> I need the piggies to be inside the build so that we can gain the stats that we care about. And also the bow definitely needs to touch this bag. So this piggy can go here. I'm definitely just straight up... My main issue is that I'm missing too much room. Yeah, and the cross maneuver here is also pretty bad. I guess we're not going to have regen and we're going to go for more luck and more money. I still have two lives, so theoretically we should be surviving here. So let's run it. More money is very important. Let's go and hope for the best. Okay, this guy starts with 35, 30 armor. Is this thing? Let's see how we're going to deal with this. We have 11 spikes, by the way. He got destroyed on his own. Yep. As long as you are an auto attack unit, you die. You get destroyed if you're an auto attack build. And we found a potion, health potion. When you heal, when your health drops below 50%, heal for 8 and cleanse 2 poison. Uh, that combines with this one, the healing herb, so theoretically I could fit it in, but honestly no. By the way, all the potions have the effect of potions, when activated also trigger the potion above them. I can showcase, as you see here, the potion. Do you see the star? The star of potions are always above them, no matter how you rotate it. So the idea is that potions, um, you just line them up from bottom to top, that's a different build completely. By the way, uh, I would say we put it here. And then you push that up, and you push that like this, and boom, now we have two above that, and now we also start with regen in the fight. And uh, let's re-roll, force re-roll to find backpacks, man. What did we find? Dagger, damage 2 to 4, on stun trigger extra attacks. This is for a stun build. Uh, regenerate one stamina every 5 seconds, triggers 10% faster for each, uh, each star item. So this is like this. You can have like a stamina regen build. I don't think we really need that. Heroic potion, when you have no stamina left, regenerate to full stamina. I don't think we're ever going to have issues with stamina. This, this build does not consume that much stamina. So I'm going to continue rolling. I didn't check the things. This here, the Hungry Blade, combos with the Vine Whip. So we're going to definitely get that. And also, I just found more attack speed. I think I'm going to put the attack speed here. So that I can fit the bow. Or I can put the attack speed here and then push the bow one up. That's another option. I would say we put that here. And instead of doing that, we're going to put this here. And these two are going to combine in the next round. So we're going to get like a Hungry Blade Whip. This here says, on hit, convert one of my uh, regeneration into two Vampirism. And Vampirism says, heals one health per stack when attacking so this is very very good because instead of healing one every two seconds i heal one and not one two because it translates one region into two right so two i heal two for every time i attack and i attack like once every two seconds from this one and i also attack once every 1.3 with this one so it's a lot more healing is the difference uh, this is start the battle with region this is also start with region so it's the same thing i have three coins I got a leather glove, affect the diamonds trigger faster. I would really like to get leather gloves on the bow and arrow and on the thorn whip. So I think we're buying this. And once again, I'm going to try to... We're going to get more room the moment these two combine. So we're going to fit everything in. And I would say, let's go and hope we're going to survive here. Theoretically, theoretically, I could say instead of gaming for region, we're going to go region because region's going to become vampirism. The other choice, by the way, is to do this. And get uh, more attacks on the bow. But I'm going to say let's go with regen. And so survivability is king and let's go. Energy high. So that means we might have an issue with DPS. Well, this is a poison build. So we will most likely die. But let's see how this goes. Okay, we have four vampirism. So that might protect us. We're still surviving. Yeah, four life. Come on. We won. We won. Easy life. Easy life. And here they are. They combine. I've never seen this weapon before. Bloodborne. The, it has stacks upon stacks of reading. Can I read this? Yeah, here we go. So, 5 to 9 damage, nice. On hit, convert one, wow, convert one region into three vampirism, crazy, and one spike, and one spike, insane. And then deal one damage per spike and vampirism, Ooh, 
we won. It's over. We won. And it has a 5 to 9 base damage, 9 to accuracy, and 1.3 attack speed, and stamina cost 1. It literally kept the best things from all of them. It kept... It, it, it literally... It, it's insane. We won. It's over. And this thing now has crazy attack speed. And now we're gonna even put the gloves in. And oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I don't care about the egg. We're gonna get even more damage. I only have one weapon in my mind. Uh, we're gonna put this wherever for a moment. I'm gonna say we put this in. Boom. Uh, you go out. You go out. I want the bow. The other bow, I want it to be here. Okay, so we need more bags. Let's roll into bags. Here we go. We found bags. By the way, we found another thorn whip in case we wanted to, but I don't think we need it. Let's get this. I'm going to say we put it here and the cross goes like boom. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to go like right here. This goes away. And this goes over here. Boom. Now this got a double attack speed boost. Wait, triggers 10% faster. Shouldn't it have a double attack speed boost because of this and this? Eh, whatever. You go here, so that hits three, three arrows. Shouldn't I? I could also push these both to the right. I think it's okay. Most of the things should be affecting specifically the Bloodthorn, in my opinion. And um, yeah, I need more. I could get this Thorn Whip, by the way. <laughs> but I don't think we need more than one weapon. I'm going to also put the gloves there. Another Acorn Color for even more. Crit hit chance. I don't think I need that much crit hit chance. Also, I definitely want my gloves to touch this thing. So we need a uh, room. We need inventory space. Poison, not really. We found another horn tusk in case I want to combine it with an spike shield. Actually, I should do that because that's how we get the most damage out of everything. So let's buy this to have it. Let's continue. Here we go. We found a big boost. I'm going to say we put it over here. Or here is the other choice. But I think down here is the play. And I can put the gloves in a way that they're going to boost the sword. I'm going to put the gloves like downwards. Or if I put it here, I can put the gloves like downwards there. Otherwise, if I put it here, I'm thinking how I could fit the gloves to also touch the bow and arrow. I don't think that's possible the way I'm doing this. So, you know what? I'm going to go here with the gloves. I'm going to go here with the gloves. Let's put this here. Boom. Let's also start with one more spike. I don't need the second holy armor, to be honest. I'm going to obviously take this because this is literally what I wanted to combine the tusks into. So we're going to put this like here. Uh, I will need to reorganize a bit, but it's okay. Uh, definitely buy this and combine this right now, is my opinion. So I'm going to say we sell the regen for one. And then maybe a piggy bank for another two. That's four. I need five, six. No, I need too much. Okay, we're going to just lock this down and get this the next round. It's okay. The region goes here. Money goes here. And uh, I have room up here. So I'm going to say you go... No, 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 no. No, no, no. As simple as that. Boom. And this still gets its buff. And we get the shield next round. So we get the next round. After the next round, we're going to get the another spiky shield. Which the spiky shield gives us three spikes. And three spikes gives us three damage. And, you know, madness. So let's go. I'm going to speed the game down to see how busted we are. Let's go to the next opponent. Speed the game down. Here we go. 0 0.4 speed. Okay, we got like 6 vampirism and 14 spikes. So we're doing plus 14 damage. Instant 64 crit damage. 64. We bend that guy. 64 crit damage. What is this? When your health drops below 50, get 2 shield. <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. Let's buy this and we roll. Try to find some room. I'm going to put that up here. Actually, I'm going to put this in here. This gives us three shielding, by the way, just because I have it. Uh, I could go for this, some stone potions, but whatever. Roll it out. Here we go. The attack speed version. I'm going to say we put the attack speed version down here. Yes, that's my opinion. Let's go. This bow can't really go here, right? Yeah, it can't really go. But if I get one more attack speed version, I can put the bow here. So for now, that was useless, but it's going to get fixed. I could do this and just get my fix right away. I think I don't want to, though. I think I want to um I think I want to get an attack speed and our attack speed one. So let's go here. I will buy this and put it boom. Now I have this crazy, crazy, crazy attack speed version. Let's roll through out of this. We found a bag for five. I'm gonna keep this. And uh this is also stamina bag, so that's nice. And now glove. And I'm gonna say we put this in to get the spikes. So most likely this region is gone. I need to fit this somehow, I would say, here. You go here. Come on. The shield goes boom. So this is going to combine next one. 
and uh, I don't really have room for more money gain. I mean, we're winning and uh, we have three fights left. Okay, in general, we have three fights left. So I'm going to say we sell both of these piggy banks and this healing herb and throw in this stamina sack for the stamina. This is not a good idea, though. Now, is it? I think I want to still do that, though. I also want to get like one more glove in this line. Actually, I can just get a glove and hit the, the bow and arrow, too. Especially if I like put that out. Nah, I think I just want to get the stamina stack right now. I'm not gonna put that many more, uh, that many more um, things in. Let's put this. No, I would say here. And I still would like this to be sideways, by the way. Here we go. Now we get three region out of this. Even better. And now a glove can go down here to hit this. This is gonna combine. Okay, from the next round on, we're gonna just buy a bunch of uh, things, and that's it. Let's go. We should be winning here with insane amount of damage. Especially if I crit. Speed this down a bit. 2 damage. Boom. 24. Let's go next hit. Boom. 24 again. Crit. Crit for 50. 56. 56. In case you don't understand what's happening and why we're doing all this. Oh, we got another combo. We got another Thorn Whip into Hungry Blade, which I don't need to do. But uh, in case you don't understand what's happening, this thing does... Plus one damage for each spike and plus one damage for each vampirism. And it also gives us three vampirism every time we attack. Because we start with three, um, not three, four, right? No, we start with three, uh, what is this called? Regen. So this three regen becomes nine vampirism. And also we start with nine spikes because we have three times three. This is nine spikes right here. So we start, we get like insane damage, we get like 20 damage on the hit, and then we get guaranteed crits because of all of these items we have set up in a way where they crit. I could also buy both of these and get them combined again. If we lose, then we will win next time, but I don't think that's worth it. Let's get this glove, uh, make the bow and arrow faster, let's roll away. I get a stamina potion. When you have no stamina left, regenerate to full stamina and gain one uh, region and one luck. I think I'm gonna take this as a safe. Uh, yeah, it's a safety feature, just in case I run out of stamina. It says low, but I have all my gloves combined here, attack, giving the blood throw and attack speed. So I'm not sure how low actually low is. I'm going to take that just to have it, you know, just to have it. On our sack of boxing, I'm going to say we put it up here. So we have even more room up there. Boom, nice. Put these all up. And uh, we found our arrow. I'm going to lock that in for the next run if we win. Because <laughs> that's not a thing, obviously. If I lose, then I get an arrow, which is really good for us. If I win, then I win. So let's go ahead and end the game. By the way, if you didn't realize, we're scaling health. Opponents are also scaling health. Uh, but we're not scaling stamina. We have 10 stamina. I don't think we're going to run out of stamina anyway, shape or form. But it does not really matter. We're going to win here. Let's speed the game down again. Uh, let's see. This is my final boss. So I want to read what it does. It's the same build with me. They start with 3 spikes. We start with 16. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have 3 vampirism, lag and regen. Oh, it's Dota 2. Hello, Dota 2. Well, guess what? You don't have a good enough build. This is a bit of a poison build. A bit of a... You know, they have a lot of things that we also have. But I don't think they're going to survive the smack that are incoming. A 53 shield. They just put 15 poison on us. And one more smack and you're dead, man. 64. One more smack. Oh, they drank a potion and they're toast. And we won. First run ever. I mean, not first run recorded because I played the game before. And we destroyed this. I was not aware that the blood throne was so busted. But now I am. And it is. It's completely busted. So this is the thorns build. Now this obviously gets countered by the buzzsaw build. The thing I had previously. You remember when I had like a buzzsaw blade weapon that says take two thorns away and take two region away? Yeah, if you have like three of those because one is not, allow uh, not enough. If you have two or three of those buzzsaw blades, you're gonna destroy this build, right? Because within the first second you attack three times with your buzz sauce you take away all the spikes and all the region and then this build no longer can play at all because without spikes in region this does not work so um yeah there is a counter to this there are things that counter this but uh, it's definitely not <laughs> uh, anything that attacks because not only was i doing 52 damage but when opponents were attacking me they will also take like 18 damage from my spikes right so it, it's like a double edged sword you i i attack you for a lot and you cannot attack me back otherwise you lose and also 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 let's not forget that this was giving us 35 shielding and these three yes they were giving us spikes but they were also giving us three shield every time we got attacked so it's also very durable as a build it's not only all about damage 
damage, it's also about durability. This build mostly dies from poison or burst, but poison kills you very slowly, so we out DPS poison builds with crits, and uh, burst also is very rare. Po burst build is a potion build. I might do a potion build at some point, but tomorrow I think we're gonna do a poison build, so we see how that goes. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, we're gonna definitely play more of this because I really enjoyed it. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel too, because the game is really, really awesome. And uh, I don't know, man, I'm super duper excited about this. I can only imagine how much more awesome it's going to become when more items get added to the game and when more things, you know, become unique and whatnot. And there are also two characters that they're supposed to appear. It says wishlist for the full version, but I have wishlisted. I don't think you get this character because I, I haven't even seen this as an enemy character ever. So they are not in the game yet, but... I don't know, man. This is one of those times where hopefully the dev is not going to drop the ball and uh, actually, you know, deliver as early, as fast as possible. Because, um, yeah, I mean, with four characters and just a couple more combo pieces, I can just imagine how busted it's going to become. Because the, the game is already infinitely replayable, right? You already can get a smidge more different build here, a smidge more different build there, and also different opponents that you can fight and see. Uh, but I can only imagine how much more playable and insane it's gonna become when they add, what is this, <laughs> when they add just a couple more items. I think it's not that far away of being ready. Now, right now I think combo items are like 7 or 8, there, there aren't really that many combo items. And uh, also in general items, I think they're about, it feels like 100. I might be wrong about this, but, you know, just a little bit more items and a little bit different characters and it's gonna be awesome. Also, of course, um, when they add more items and more characters, I would assume that uh, specific characters will have specific weighted items, right? So you can find only specific things, but you can also find everything with every character, right? Right now, when I was playing with her, you were f seeing that we were finding these mushrooms here that are the poison item. Um, and also when I played with this character, because as you see, I have a different rank, each character has a different rank. I have played with this character too. You find more food items and more poison items too. So that might be an illusion of my mind, right? Because I was picking them up when I was playing the other character, but maybe I'm wrong. I hope I am wrong. All right. I hope I am right about the fact that different characters have different weights on items so yeah i think that's going to be it the game is very 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 cool and it's a free demo so you can go ahead and play and then when you find sift you're gonna be like oh it's sift i beat sift you know or well it's sift i lost <laughs> um still I think that's it. And and, and one last little bit, did bit in the beginning, in the very beginning of the run, I said that they removed most of the trash things and they added the the quality of life is very high, right? The, you don't have inventory space. You can just have uh, you don't have storage space. You can have just infinitely items sticking around. You can keep your money. You don't lose money from run to run. You can just maintain money gaining. So that are all good and well. Do you know what the little the little uh, cherry on top of everything is that I really think is the best thing in this game? If you play a poison build and the opponent is also poison build and let's say both of you have 3D stack of poison let's say i have 3 stacks of poison the opponents have 3 stacks of poison and let's say i have 10 life and the opponent has 20 life okay the moment the poison ticks because the tick of the poison ticks at, uh, at the same time every time like it's every two seconds both poison ticks right my poison ticks and the opponent poison ticks at the same second if both of us have less than enough life to survive the poison then it's not a draw it's not a lose it's a win right? You survive with one life and the opponent survives with zero, right? Let's say I have 10 life, opponent has 10 life, both of us have 50 poison. At the moment the poison hits, I survive with one and the opponent loses. And why is that good? Because this game is practically a solo game, right? You're playing with builds that other people have saved back in the day. So you're not like making somebody feel bad. So the dev realized this and said, you know what? When, poison, when a poison draw is about to happen or when a draw is about to happen in general, we're going to give the win to the, the real person playing, right? We're not going to give the win to the saved run of a person that has already beaten or lost the game. We're going to give the win to the person playing the run specifically. And that is what I think is ga good game design and like a thought, um, a thought process or like just a thought that the dev had, right? At some point, somebody says, you know what? When it's about to draw, give the win to the current player. And I think that is really good because nobody loses. You feel better. You win. You go on. You don't feel like cheated. You don't feel, oh man, it's a draw. Oh man, the poison battles are drawn. No, it's like, okay, if it's a draw, you win. And I love it. I love it. I love it because it shows how well thought out some very basic and specific things are. It might have been just a dev saying, you know what, I think if it's a draw, you should give them the in. But still, like, the implications of that alone just show that they're more focused on giving you a good experience than focused on, oh, that makes sense. Or, oh, you know, if it's a draw, if it's a draw, you know, no, it's just... 
I love it. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, don't forget to comment about it. Just mentioned I would like to hear some opinions about this divisive or not. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you guys around. Free game, by the way. You can try to beat me. Bye-bye.